The aircraft stand and roads and areas that surround it can be both busy and hazardous. In this video, we will highlight the markings that allow you to identify the layout of these areas and help you operate safely around them. There are six key areas, as seen here. The aircraft stand, the interstand clearway, and the approved vehicle and equipment parking areas. These three areas combined form the apron. Additionally, we can see the airside roads and the maneuvering area. The aircraft stand. As shown, these are marked out by single white lines. This is where aircraft park during the turnaround. Staff are given dispensation to enter the stand and operate their equipment here during this time. Drivers must not shortcut through empty stands at any time. Adjacent to the stand is the interstand clearway. It is used to gain access onto the aircraft stand. They are marked with zigzags and provide a minimum 4.5 meter clearance between aircraft wingtips on adjacent stands. Vehicles are permitted to wait in the interstand clearway but must not be left unattended at any time. Access and exit routes must always be available for emergency response vehicles and for vehicles carrying out the aircraft turnaround. Approved vehicle and equipment parking areas seen here at the front or head of the stand are marked with a solid red line inside a white border. They provide a safe area for vehicles or equipment to park. The aircraft stand, interstand clearway and approved parking areas are collectively called the apron, where there is a reduced speed limit of 5 miles per hour to minimise incidents. Outside of these areas, we can also see the airside roads. These allow passage for vehicles that require access onto the apron area. Road markings, similar to those on the public highway, indicate road junctions, no parking areas and pedestrian crossing routes. The speed limit on airside roads at Gatwick is generally 20 miles per hour, unless otherwise indicated. Airside roads can be found at the front and back of the aircraft stand, known as head of stand and rear of stand roads. They may be single carriageway or one-way systems. Extra care must be taken when using rear of stand roads, as aircraft can cross these from either direction, as we can see here. To the side of this airside road, there are double solid white lines. These mark the maneuvering area, which is the part of the airport designed for the takeoff, landing and surface movement of aircraft, but excludes the apron and any part of the airport designed for the maintenance of aircraft. Entry is strictly by approval from the airport authority and air traffic control. In addition to these six key areas, here are some further items that you should be aware of when operating airside. Yellow markings on the apron area are for the guidance of aircraft and highlight the center line and stop positions. They can also be alternate yellow and white for narrow body aircraft. The clear area at the front of the stand is for aircraft tractors only. Vehicles must not block this. Passenger walkways are marked out in green or blue and provide a safe passage to and from aircraft, coaches or terminal buildings. It's important that these walkways are never driven through or blocked. Be aware that passengers can become distracted and deviate from these markings, so always operate with caution. The air bridge provides access to and from the aircraft and is located towards the front of the stand within an area of hatched white lines known as the starburst. It is essential that vehicles or equipment do not drive through or park in this area, as it is required to be kept clear for the safe manoeuvring of the airbridge. You may see other hatched markings in various colours on the roadways, stands and assembly points. These markings prevent access from becoming restricted and provide a safe haven for passengers and staff in the event of an evacuation airside. It's an offence to park vehicles within these areas. Emergency stop buttons are positioned at the front of the aircraft stand and these can be activated in the event of a major fuel spill or to prevent an aircraft entering an unsafe stand. In the event of an incident, emergency services must be notified. A telephone is located at the front of the stand and the emergency telephone number 222 for Gatwick will be clearly shown. Also seen in this area are foreign object debris bins or FOD bins. 
all airside users have a duty to pick up and place FOD in these bins to help prevent aircraft damage. Nearby are fixed electrical ground power units. They provide power to run aircraft systems whilst on stand. These units extend, so can become trip hazards, especially at night. Fuel coupling covers are found on the stand area too. They are identified by a red circle and must never be driven over. If the coupling is damaged, it can make the stand unusable. When working airside at Gatwick, it's important you are fully aware of the topography of the airfield, understand the various signs and markings, and never compromise aircraft movements. This will ensure you and the passengers and staff using the airport remain safe.